This video explains how to compute permutations and combinations with the TI-83 or 84. Let's look at the first example. The question says, how many ways can you select three people out of ten without regard to order? Well, our first task is to decide whether we're going to use a permutation or a combination. And the key word here is order, and then in this case, it's without regard to order. By definition, a permutation is an ordering. So for the permutations, order matters. A combination is just a grouping of items. So for the combination, order does not matter. Well, in our example, we're doing this without regard to order. So we'll be doing a combination. There are several ways of expressing a combination. I'll show you a few. One starts with a C. We are taking 10 items, so n is equal to 10, and we're selecting three of those. So we can express the C parentheses 10 comma 3. Your calculator uses something closer to the next notation. We start with the n value, in this case it's 10. We use the C symbol for combination, followed by the R value, or the number of items selected, which is 3. In the calculator, this looks like this. We take 10, we find the N, C, R symbol, and then we follow that with a 3. To get this typed in, we go to the home screen. We start by typing in the 10. To get the N, C, R symbol, we'll go to the math menu, um, the probability submenu. Then we're back in the home screen, and we'll type in the number 3. Let's do this in the calculator. I'll turn the calculator on. I'm going to clear my earlier calculations, and I'm going to do this calculation. I'm in the home screen, so I start with the number 10. I need to find the NCR. We go to the math menu, which is located underneath the alpha, math, over to the probability submenu, and we want to choose the combination. You can either type number 3 or arrow down and hit enter. So now we've got 10 NCR, we just need that R value, the number of items, which is 3. Now we can hit enter, and we find the answer to be 120. So there are 120 ways to select 3 people out of 10. Let's look at the second example. In our second example, we're asked, how many ways can you select a president? a vice president, and a secretary from 10 people. Well, in this case, we're selecting three people, but it's three specific titles. So we do have an R value of three, three people that we're selecting. Our N value is still 10, but because we have specific titles, order does matter, and we're looking at a permutation or an ordering. The permutation is really similar to the combination, with the calculator. We start with the n value, which is 10. We want the permutation symbol, which is n, p, r, and then we follow that with 3. Typing this into our calculator, we'll take 10, go to the math menu, the probability submenu, and down to number 2, which is n, p, r. I arrow down, you can also hit number 2, I'll hit enter, and now I'm ready for the 3. So we've got 10, NPR3, we'll hit enter, and we find that, that, that the number of ways is 720. This is the first technique. The other way that we can compute a permutation uses the multiplication rule. I really like the multiplication rule because it's easy to set up and it's very intuitive, and you don't need to remember if you're doing a permutation or a combination. Well, we have three positions that we want to fill. Those three positions are president, I'm going to give each a line, vice president, and finally, secretary. In the multiplication rule, we take the number of possibilities and we multiply those together. We're starting with 10 people. So we've got 10 people in front of us. If we select the president first, that means there are 10 different people that we can choose to be president. Now that we've chosen a president, we're down to nine people. So there are nine ways or nine people to choose for vice president. We've assigned two positions, so we're down to eight, leaving us with eight ways of selecting a secretary. 
If you multiply 10 times 9 times 8 in your calculator, you'll find that you get the same result of 720. Notice how 720 is much larger than 120. With the permutations, you can take the same group of three people, but assign them different titles, giving you many more possibilities. Let's take a look at another example. In our third example, we are asked the following. How many ways can you run five commercials during a one-hour show? So we've got five commercials. We want to reorder all five of them to figure out the possibilities. So in this case, order matters. If order matters, that means we're doing a permutation. Using the calculator, I need to identify n, which is 5, and r, which is also 5. We're going to reorder all five of them. So in the calculator, we'll type 5, n, p, r, followed by 5. We're in the home screen, so we're ready to type in the first number 5. So I type in 5. I go to the math menu, the probability submenu, down to permutation this time. I'm just going to type the number 2 to select it. So in the home screen, I've got 5, the NPR symbol, and I'm ready for the second 5. I hit Enter, and we have the answer of 120. This was a permutation, so we should be able to do this one with the multiplication rule as well. So with the multiplication rule, we need to fill five commercial spots. One, two, three, four, five. We have five commercials, so we have five ways of selecting the first commercial. That's one down. Four ways of selecting the second. Now we've got two down, so three, two, and then one. If we multiply five times four times three times two times one, we come up with 120. Either method works. One last example. The last example says, how many four-member committees can you select out of four people? Well, here we're just looking for four people to fill up a committee. We're not giving them specific positions, so we know that order does not matter. No order. We'll use the combination. N is 11. R is 4. I'm going to type this directly into my calculator. So in the calculator, we start with the n. The n value is 11. So I have 11. Up to the math menu. I need to arrow over to the probability menu. This is a combination, so I choose number 3. Now I've got 11 ncr. I need that r value, which is 4. So I have 11, choose 4. I hit enter, and our answer is 330. Your book gives you the formulas for these. The formulas include factorials, which is the exclamation point. You do not need to know any of the formulas. You can do all of the permut permutations and combinations with your calculator.